Hey everyone, so I'm back at it again. Here's another video. Guys, I just want to let you know um, to please be patient with me. I'm just trying to figure out and learn how to actually film videos with customers um, in the chair. So just give me some time and some patience and um, the videos will have be of better quality soon. So what we're doing is we are sewing in Ali's frontal hair and um, I just did a quick check to make sure that the client can in fact get this type of install. Right now I'm going to start braiding the hair. Um, I'm choosing to kind of divide the hair up into half the front half and the back half and what I'm doing is I'm braiding the front part um, the front half into cornrows I'm trying to make them really small and neat because that is where the frontal will be sitting and I just don't want any bulk I want it to be nice and smooth so I'm braiding them pretty small This is what it looks like and now I'm going to work on the back. Um, I chose not to braid all the way down, um, corner is going back, I don't really typically like that type of braid pattern for um, extensions. I'm going to go with doing a half circle, meaning that I'm going to make a circle in the um, back half of her head of the leave out that I love. So you'll see me braiding, I just find that um, the wefts lay better when it's braided like this and it's just a, a little bit more of a more seamless install. So now I'm just measuring up the frontal. Um, she didn't want it uh, thinned out too much. I just did some minor tweezing on the hairline. Um, I added an elastic band just to make it easier to sew down um, and also to stay down. It'll lay more flat towards her head with the elastic. Um, less shifting and it's just easier you know when I'm sewing it down to have the elastic kind of keeping it in place so that way clients not going to have to hold on to the buckle for you you can just go ahead and work independently on your own so I'm just braiding the hair out of the way so I'm going to go ahead and sew this frontal down There's the elastic band towards the back. I also stitched that down so that it doesn't move around on the client during the time she the install. So I'm going in and I'm going to sew the back half of the frontal. And I'm going to use really um, thin stitching. Uh, I do use nylon thread. It's just my preference now. It's a lot easier than using the cotton thread. So I'm just sewing that down again. The stitches are going to be very close to make sure that you know the frontal doesn't move around, it's not lumpy or bumpy, and that it stays down really nicely. So it's about two stitch per braid that I'm doing all the way around. So now there's some extra lace that I'm going to be cutting off around her hair. Because she's going to be using this frontal to make a wig, I didn't really want to cut too much of it off, just enough so that it's hiding. But um, because we're going to be making a wig with this frontal in the future, I didn't really want to cut too much. So now I'm going to go ahead and put some stitches in the actual frontal and that's going to prevent the frontal from shifting and moving back. So I just went ahead and made a part. Um, I used a clamp clip um, just to kind of pull the, back, the hair all back. And I'm just going to make some really fine stitches going forward towards the front of the hairline. And that's just to make sure that the frontal doesn't move during the time that she's wearing the install. I will go ahead and do the same thing on the other side as well.
after this part here, I'm going to go ahead and sew down the rest. I didn't make a video for it, but I pretty much just went back to front, or side to side, bending the rest over without cutting. Here, I'm just doing a little fine detailing in regards to um, you know, kind of tweezing out the hairline. Again, she didn't really want it tweezed out too much until we make her wig. So for now, we're just going to leave her a little bit full, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and, and part out her wig. Sorry, trees out her part a little bit so it looks a little bit more natural. So here I'm going to make some baby hairs just by parting out a little fine section of the front using a razor and just kind of cutting it. Kind of see where it lays and sits, and you know, kind of go back in whenever you need to and, and re trim those baby hairs. I also sprayed a bit of water. Um, the front toe is going all back, so it's just kind of a little bit firm right now. So, with the water, it'll help it lay down a little bit better. Also, with the water, I'll be putting it down and then I'll be tying the head down with a do rag um, just to kind of get the hair to lay flatter. So here is the do-rag and we've just taken it off and it's laying much flatter and we can kind of play around with the baby hairs, play around the part and add a bit of foundation to make it look a little bit natural. I'm also going to go ahead and cut off a piece of um, lace that's just a little bit too exposed. Um, but that's pretty much it guys. Again, um, not the greatest quality video but I'm learning to figure it out and how to record with a customer in the chair. So hope you liked the video, hope it helped. Um, Questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section and stay tuned. There'll be way more videos, way better quality. And again, I'm just kind of playing around to figure out how I can film and how I can, you know, kind of make really good videos for you guys. Well, see you guys soon. Bye.